Welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 4, verses 18 through 20. Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. So we're almost done with the book of Philippians here, and here's a glorious spot, right? I have what I need, and I'm abounding. I appreciate Epaphroditus. God is going to supply, verse 19, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Jesus Christ. Whatever you need, God has it. God has what you want. God will help you with your needs, but you need to trust him. It's very simple. We can trust him, and he will get us through. He will supply all your need. It doesn't say he'll supply all your wants, but he will supply all of our needs, and we'll have those things we need. And that is the thing to keep in mind. God gives us what our needs are, and we'll see what other things come as wants. But he is smart enough to give us what we need. We can trust him about it. So there's a doxology. Now to God, our God, be glory forever and ever. Amen. And so that's something we can do. When we God gives us what we need, we should be thankful. We should rejoice and give thanks back to him. And it helps, it helps our heart, and he will supply all of our needs, but it's through his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. We want to be recipients of those riches. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, through Jesus, there are riches to be poured out and given to us, riches coming our way. Bless us by drawing us close to the heart of Jesus now, Lord. We thank you for hearing our prayers and giving us our needs. Thank you, and all praise and glory be to you. In Jesus' name, amen. So God be with you today as he gives you exactly what your needs for today are.